Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. Uh, today we went out to the Goodwill and found a bunch of stuff, and now we're going to show you what it is. So our first segment is Rebecca's favorite find, as she sits here and eats chocolate pudding. <laughs> um, and then our second segment is Where's Forky? Uh, so we have both the little and the big Forky hidden on the set today, and uh, you can find them. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with our, I think I have five bags, a game, and a loose figure. So I have this guy who looks like a G.I. Joe figure. Uh, we'll have to look him up. It says uh, 2006 Marvel. So it's not G.I. Joe, but I'm not sure who that is. We'll have to figure it out. And then our game is the Go Long football dice game. And I thought it was neat because the, the dice itself, there's several different uh, weird looking dice in there. So I thought that was cool. So we'll have to look at that. And then our first bag has a squeezy football. Squeeze, squeeze. And a green ping pong ball. And then we have a 12 inch Batman. So um, I'm not sure what Batman this is, but it's kind of cool looking. And he is marked DC Comics. Does not have a date. So, pretty neat. And then our second bag. Have some more Marvel figures. We have Captain America with the blue arms. We have Thanos in the gold suit. There's a wooden very heavy wooden uh, vehicle with um, plastic wheels. No markings on that. Here's a minion with the headset on, the earphones. We've seen him a lot. And this looks like, normally these are Tonka. It says 2008 Hasbro, and it's a dump truck with a face on it. Let's see what's in our next bag. We have a, I don't know what that is. Almost looks like those hex bucks, right? Yeah. I'll tell you There's how some kind of, some kind of bug or beetle. And then... It says 2014 Innovation First McDonald's. Not sure what that is. And then there is a big watch, a wooden play watch that has a leather strap to it. Um, it does not work as far as a working watch because it's wooden, but it does have metal pieces to it, so... Kind of neat looking. I know you like these guys. So there's a Max and Ruby uh, little Tupperware container. Yeah, my younger self. You still like them. What? There's a <laughs> uh, Matchbox truck. And a, another Matchbox truck that says Getty on it. Tractor trailer truck. This one is also Matchbox and it's a Cosmic Blues hot rod. And there's a metal keychain that says uh, Durang Durago uh, Ferrari 
Testarossa, made in Italy. And it's a metal keychain with a Ferrari on it. The whole thing's metal. Do the wheels move? Wheels don't move. And we have a Lightning McQueen, uh, Jackson Storm 2.0 yo-yo. There is a carabiner. There is a bracelet that has little like croc things that go on it. Crocs have those little um, things that fit in the holes. And then there's Michelangelo uh, McDonald's toy. Here's uh, My Little Pony. There's an Indian figure. Let's see if there's any markings. Nope. And then there's two, I think these were called squinkies. There's a turtle and a cat. They're really small. Here's a ball with something spinning inside of it. Here's another squinky that looks like a frog. And then some kind of creature, little figure, about one inch. That's it for that bag. And then, the next bag has a bunch of little figures in it. We have some Imagine X figures. We have the Joker. Once I fix his arms. Here's Imagine X. We have. That's from Paw Patrol. I have to look up the name. I know some of them, but not all of them. And that same dog. There's a cow. Purple and white cow. He's from uh, PJ Masks. I believe he's the Night Ninja. And then the reason I bought the bag was for Killer Croc from Imagine X. Uh, a DC character, awesome figure. I uh, love that. So, fantastic. And we have Donald Duck. It looks like his Boy Scout stuff. He is written on here. It says 2011 Mattel. Oh, it's not a Boy Scout. It's like a stethoscope around his neck. I thought it was like a bandana. And then here is a little version from Toy Story 4 of can never remember this guy's name it was uh he's the evil knievel version what the heck is his name he's a canadian guy um race car driver he's the guy on the bike from toy story yeah i can't think of that. so then we have a keychain i thought these were um, the Disney ones, but I'm not sure. Because that sort of looks like the American Heart Association on the back. But it's a heart with a checklist on a keychain. Here's another one of the little motorcycle guys. I'll kick myself, but I, I know the name. And then... This looks like the octopus from Finding Dory. Yeah. I don't remember his name, though. Did he have a name? I probably mm -hmm. did. Here's a sheep. And here is...
is a chicken. We have a Fisher Price Little People construction worker. And then some dinosaurs. We have a small blue one. And a bigger orange one. And this one looks like from the good dinosaur. Do you remember him? Uh, no. But that looks like one of the parents, right? Yeah. It says Disney Pixar, so I'm pretty sure that's from the good dinosaur. Oh, you know what? It was that dinosaur that taught him, him how to, like, roar. Yeah. I think. Two more little dinosaurs. And then we have a My Little Pony. Then we have Pluto in a racing helmet. Probably from Mickey's Roadsters. <laughs> and we have some sound effects going on. <laughs> and then we have a Imagine Next race car guy. And then let's see. Is this marked? Let's see. Looks like little people. Yeah, it looks like little people, but it could be another brand construction worker. Like the generic kind of little people? Yep. And a dinosaur. That's it for that bag. So in our last bag is a bunch of pieces of things. Uh, this is like a Hot Wheels shooter and some Hot Wheels track pieces. And some more. There's some it, weapons. Wasn't Bub obsessed with Hot Wheels? And then there's a ramp and another piece. He had a bunch of Hot Wheels when he was a kid. Probably still have them somewhere. And then we have... <clears throat> I don't know how this all works, but... We have a... We don't have to guess, do we? We have our handy-dandy tape measure. Oops. <laughs> we have an 8-inch Thanos... Vision? Yep. Eight inch Thanos, the guy who killed Vision. And uh, he's on some kind of platform that. I don't know how that all works. Does he spin or something? Well, maybe he spins around. Does he? Oh, it looks like he. Oh, and you hit his up. chest, maybe. It looks like he's a hinge. He has a hinge. Lift it up. I know, but. Well, push the button and lift it. What button? <laughs> Are you just pushing his chest? Yeah. And then lift it up, maybe. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Oh. And he spins around and falls over. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what that all goes to, but pretty neat. Let's see if that's part of the. It's some kind of Hot Wheels set. And it says Marvel 2017 Mattel. So it was some kind of Hot Wheels set that had a Thanos on it. So pretty neat. I wonder if he stores stuff under him or something. I don't know. Maybe when the cars go by, it triggers something and or they attack him or whatever. And then it uh, spins him around and knocks him over. Ah. So... That is everything, Rebecca. What is your favorite find of the night? Mm, I have to say the minion, which is like the first thing you pick or you grab. So she's saying her favorite find of the night is the minion with the headset on. So we'll stick him here. And then where's Forky? So I think we had him pretty good. Uh, Forky's way in the background, right here, below my finger, the big one, and the small one, 
Can you point him out or do you want me to? Is, is behind Snoopy. Oh, pull him out? No, just point him. Oh, I will. And then he's behind Snoopy riding on the doghouse. So that's <laughs> where they are. So if you like what you see, hit like, share, and subscribe. If you don't like what you see, keep watching anyway because we're fun. <laughs> uh, just kidding. We uh, will keep going out to the thrift stores, see what we can find, and uh, enjoy playing with our toys. Have a great night.